Good morning. It is June 27th and it is Tuesday and it is like 73 degrees out already and it is not even 10 o'clock yet. It's like 9.50 in the morning. So, and it is supposed to get to 93. So, okay, I am headed out to get my nails done for the 4th of July. Um, but I have to show you this place that me and Jay stopped at on our way home from Oklahoma. It's called Pops. And they have Pops from all around the world. a very pretty blue with sparkles this time for 4th of July. I ended up um, getting away from the acrylic and I went with dip and I'm going to see how I like that. They said it's healthier for my nails so I am definitely giving that a try. Okay we are going to try this tonight. It's the Southwest Ranch Hidden Valley. We've never tried the Hidden Valley pasta salads. Looks pretty easy. You do a uh, half a cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of milk and it's a cold salad so yeah we'll give it a try sounds good okay me and timothy are off to return his library books that we had got before we went to prior so we are headed out to do some running okay we went to talk about and yes. timothy got a, a baja blast freeze how is it really good definitely recommend it. If you've never had a Baja Blast before, you can only get them at Taco Bell. So definitely get them. They're really good. Yeah. It's a perfect day for one. It really is. Yeah. Okay. Me and Timothy went grocery shopping. So we got some grocery shopping out of the way. So you will be having a grocery haul will be coming up. Now we're at the other library for him to drop off some more books. And then I'm going to head out to my PO box and just check it to make sure nothing's out there. On your vibe. So I just sampled these, what is this? I don't know what it's called, ranch something, salsa? No, Hidden Valley Ranch. <laughs> oh, it is Hidden yeah, Valley, okay. Salad. It's the Hidden Valley Salsa Ranch salad. It's really good, I had some, and I think I said that already. It is really good, I highly recommend it's it. It's the Southwest salad. Yeah, that's what it is. It tastes like salsa and ranch. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's really good. So basically make salsa and ranch, get some noodles and make no. this. No. Or just buy the packet. There you go. There you go. Okay, I um, won a giveaway on another channel and I will have her channel link below. Her name is Raina. And um, I just got that today in my PO box. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let me show you what I won. Okay, she packaged them really well, but this is a Really, really pretty little coffee cup. It'd be perfect for tea. And then this one, it says, set your own path. And it has a bicycle. And then this one that was matching to this one, it actually broke. Thank you, Raina. I think that's like my only second time I've ever won anything off of YouTube, another channel, and I think that's awesome. Okay, and then this next thing that I got is a gift from my friend Vicki, and she sent it through Amazon. Look at how pretty this is, all packaged up. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Vicki. Wow. Um, she said when she seen me cleaning my baseboards, and in one of my videos and then she saw a commercial for this and you can use it just to wipe off your baseboards isn't that something thank you vicky so so much oh my goodness this is going to be so nice to use 
Okay, wait a second. You have to do this. Timothy is, I am laughing so hard. I'm trying to film my gifts and this kid is cracking me up. He's like, let's do an unboxing video. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, here, like this. Are you gonna do it? Okay, yeah, but we have to do it professionally because oh I'm a professional YouTuber, so we're gonna do this right. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be unboxing this video. Uh, I got a base, baseboard buddy. This is gonna be my first impression. <laughs> I, You're making I, this up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So we just gotta open it up here and get get our first impression. So hang on. Let me, oh, there's there's tape. Oh, <laughs> don't I have egg on my face? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna cut open the box. The tape, not the box. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, we got we got a pad here. Um, that's nice. Oh, bubble wrap. I just love bubble wrap. And uh, this looks like the wand. So you put all this together. Oh, there you go. Got. You just put the, this together. Uh, and then you you put this together and then put this on this and then you clean like this. And uh, don't eat this. That's poison. And uh, here's an instruction manual, I think. Um, BaseBuddyBoardTips.com <laughs> <laughs> This is how you put together. Hopefully it's not in Spanish. Oh! Yeah, no, it's, it's in English. You're good. <laughs> well, three photos. So there, you, you swivel with this, and it has a 45 degree angle, and you can even do the, the tops like up there. So, yeah, uh, that's my base buddy board. That's my first impression. I think it looks pretty cool. Can't wait to try it. I'll give it a eight out of 10 for first impression. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, were you laughing? You have to tell me if you were laughing. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when I get him um, what is it? Baja oh, Blast nice. from Taco Bell. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, we have tons of dishes to do. Are you ready to do dishes? No. Can I do a first impression? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, it is June 28th, Wednesday, and it is supposed to be 99 degrees today. This morning, about 10 o'clock, I noticed that it was already 83 degrees. So I was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take Jules out for her walk <laughs> because um, the breeze had a tiny little bit of a coolness to it yet. So I thought that would be perfect. And um, it's really, really, really windy out there today. So it was nice to get out that, early, you know, a little earlier to try and beat the heat. So we did that this morning. And let's see, Jay and Justin are headed home. It is 20 after 12. And um, Justin has a dentist appointment for a teeth cleaning this afternoon. So they got a half a day of work and they're headed home so that he can go get his teeth cleaned. And yeah, that'll be nice to have him home early. So me and Tim are just hanging out here and I am actually going to get busy doing the dishes. Dishes are never done, I swear. Never. Jason, you are not sleeping what? What? yet. What? What? You're gonna go take a nap though, right? Yeah. Jules thinks that they're because they're home, it's time to eat dinner. We're having issues. <laughs> Did you guys have a good drive home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. Not as fast as it has been in the past. No. Oh, because of the car. Oh my goodness. I'm sulky. Oh, you are not. <laughs> so I've been in a complete depression since Saturday afternoon. Because I don't have my challenge anymore. So I'm going to start a GoFundMe account. So I can get a new one. That I can keep and drive every day. So I looked it up. And it's like $64,000. So I'll set it up for like 70, that I'll pay the tax. So, you know, keep watching for it. I'll, I'll put a note out sometime that I've started it, but if you could please donate 
to the cause because I'm just so depressed that I don't have my car anymore. Seriously, if you believe that, don't. Just don't. <laughs> That's not nice. Timmy! <laughs> It is Thursday, June 29th, and it is about 20 after 1 in the afternoon, and I spent my morning cleaning, and of course, I did a video for you. <laughs> yeah, so I got all my cleaning done for the weekend, and yesterday, Jason ended up taking a nap, and he slept for two and a half an hour two and a half hours and he felt so guilty and I was like no no you needed that and then when he went to bed he was tired again he's like oh my goodness this is horrible I'm like well it's just because we wear ourselves out seriously and you need sleep we're human right so that was good that he did that I was gonna tell you that I got jury duty again ah um, I think that our county um, where we live, it is like one of the most picked counties for jury duty. And oh, it makes me so mad. I told Jay, I'm like, I'm ready to move. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't wanna live here anymore. And he's like, you can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, I can, because I have been called to jury duty. Timmy, how many times have I been called to jury duty? Uh, Three or four? I think it's been like three or four times since uh, moving here and we've only, we haven't even been here for three years yet. And I got jury duty once, but I mean, you have to call in, you have to be ready, you have to go in, you have to, you know, and then if you get selected and that last one, I was on it for almost a week. Um, and so they sent me the paperwork and they told me I had jury duty and the time that they gave me, um, I had already had stuff going on and I was like, oh no, well on the back of the paper it said that I could, they give you one time a year to cancel and I was like, okay, well I'm going to choose this one time because I had an appointment already set up that I had to be there and I could not reschedule it. So I called and I was like, yes, I, I would like to use, you know, to be able to get out of it. And she was like, okay. And I was thinking I was going to totally get out of it. No, she goes, okay, what are the other two dates that you want? And she gave me two more dates. And I was like, wait, what? And she goes, yeah, you get to choose. You could either do June 17th or there was another one later on. August something I was no September maybe it was but anyway I was like not September the boys will be in school and that'll be crazy bad and so I was like okay I'll do not June 17th July 17th so I was like well I'll do July 17th and she was like okay we'll send you the paperwork again <laughs> I am so upset I don't mind jury duty but seriously in all my life I have never had to go have jury duty as many times as what we do in our county and I was telling Jay I said you know between the four of us we have all been called up we haven't even lived here for three years and we've been called up how many times let me see dad's been called up what twice I got called up once, but because I'm a student, I got to buy it. Yeah, once. Justin and Tim get to get out of it because they're students, little stinkers. And um, Jason's been called up twice, and I've been called up. This is my third, I think third or fourth time yeah, I've like been that. called up. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So at least seven times we've been called for jury duty. Oh, I just don't think that's fair. All right, that's my complaint, so. All right, me and Timothy are going to play... Guitar Hero. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna kick your butt. Okay. I'm not. No. I never do. Because you play on easy and I play on hard. <laughs> hey, you know what time it is? Coffee o'clock. Oh, it's <laughs> Two? Yeah. Okay, me and Timothy just got done playing Guitar Hero. We love that game. My hands cramping is yours. We played it for, how long did we play it for? A couple hours? Oh, so three hours. About three hours. No wonder why my hand's cramping. Oh my goodness. 
Um, I'm getting ready to make dinner and tonight for dinner we are going to have um, chili dogs and I got like um, cheese to go on it and stuff like that so we'll do like chili cheese dogs or chili dogs and chili cheese fries something like that I know what I was gonna tell you um, me and Jason watched a movie last night and it is do you have to go potty She hates when we play music, don't ya? She's probably ready for dinner. But anyway, the movie has um, Mark Wahlberg in it and it is Patriot Day. This is about the Boston Marathon bombing. This was really good. If you haven't seen it, yeah, definitely watch it. It is heart-wrenching in parts, um, you know, but it was based on all the facts the true story, named the people that were involved, everything. It was, They did a fantastic job. There is a lot of cussing in it, though, um, so be aware of that. But it was good. So, Oh, my goodness, that girl does that. Every time I record, every time I do groceries, anything, and as soon as I hit the record button, she goes over and she starts drinking water, and you hear that. All right, I'm gonna get busy uh, with dinner and Jay and Justin should be home shortly. Um, I was going to tell you this too. I keep thinking of things as soon as I shut the camera off, but um, Jason and Justin have like nine days, including weekend days um, coming up and they get those off. We are headed out of town for I think a couple of days and um, so they get a couple of days off with 4th of July and then it just kind of rolls into us going out of town and stuff like that so I'm pretty excited yeah 4th of July is, is during the week and when holidays are during the week for whatever reason that throws me off does that do that to you like I can't get my brain around the 4th of July is during the week and I need to like set out a couple decorations and I'm so off with it. Now if it lands on the weekend for whatever reason, I'm fine, I'm right on top of it. But I don't know, do you do that? So I'm pretty excited about it though. They get those days off and I'm just really excited about it. Looking forward to it. This is the house that they're building behind us. Isn't that crazy how quickly they go up? And I'll show you my tomatoes. We have some flowers coming in um, right here. So hopefully we get some more tomatoes. Here's a little tomato coming in right there. And there's another flower right here coming in. So we're gonna be getting more tomatoes, but they don't look too bad. I don't think they look too bad. We've gotten a few of them, probably about four, I think, so far. So that's not bad at all. And I think some of those are ready to come off, which is good, because we're going to put them in um, salads. She's doing it again. <laughs> I'm telling you, every time I hit record, that's why I am so grateful for editing. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm going to, I'm grilling the hot dogs tonight, so I'm going to, um, um, flip them, you know, so they don't burn. Oh, in this, we got when we went grocery shopping there, the jalapeno ones. Timothy really likes them. Jason's not crazy about them, but Timothy likes them. He's eating them on everything and he wants them on hot dogs tonight too, so. Okay, me and Jason are off to Walmart. We just did grocery shopping and we just found some things that we need tonight. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Um, things like bleach wipes, garbage bags, you know, some of the necessities. But we're trying, we figured we would go tonight, and then that way we hopefully we'll be, beat the 4th of July crowds is what we're trying to do because we know that it is going to be really, really crazy bad this weekend at the stores. So yeah, we're going to... I told Jay, I'm like, I can just do it tomorrow. And he's like, no, we're going to try and beat them crowds. <laughs> I saw this um, Cherry Dee Pitter on another channel. 
um, Happily a Housewife, I believe. It's on Amazon, and so I ordered it because I wanted to see. But it has a lock and an unlock, and then you lock it, right? Yes. And you take your cherries, and you take the stems off from the cherries, and you can put four of them in right here. But you're just going to do two, you just said? Just two, for example. Okay. Okay. So okay. You put it in, and then you press down. And then you unlock it. go to unlock. And that releases the cherries from the like little spikes, the depitters. Okay. And then they're all depitted. Yep, and the pits go in the bottom right there. Isn't that the coolest thing? Warning, you will get cherry juice on your hand. Ooh. Isn't that thing cool? Timothy actually did that and put some into a um, freezer Ziploc bag and he's going to freeze some of the cherries and I think that'll be a great little summer treat. Today is the last day of June and it is Friday. Yeah. And Jay and Justin are coming into their vacation today. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And um, it is actually cooler today. It cooled down. It's actually um, 83. I think it's supposed to get to 87 today. So it's not in the hundreds and it's nice. And I am knocking out a ton of videos. So that is going to be my day besides, let's see, laundry. I got to do laundry. Yep. And dishes always need done. So I got to do that. But I'm going to finish up these videos. I got three of them so far. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going and putting that stuff together for you. I had a really good question on my video the other day in the comment section and one of you had asked me and Jay why we don't fly to Pryor, Oklahoma when we go instead of driving. Um, the reason why we didn't these last two times is because the airlines actually have us go backwards and then out and then up to prior that takes us way into Texas out on the other side and then up. it is so goofy and with layovers and everything um, Jay figured it out and it would have been like six to eight hours or more just to get us there and he was like seriously let's just save the company some money rent a car and drive up there and it only took us you know six hours to get there so that's why we didn't fly that time, but we have flown with the company and we will be flying again in the future. But yeah, that was a great question. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I am trying to fix dinner, but our oven, I think our oven, something's wrong with the heating element or something in it because sometimes it'll heat up and sometimes it won't. And it's not today. So we, I don't know what we're going to do. If I can't get it going, we'll have to do like order like a cheap pizza or something tonight. Um, and also our refrigerator with the ice maker in the door. The ice maker quit working. Um, we have struggled with this ice maker at, in this refrigerator. It is a Whirlpool Gold Series is what it says. And... Um, We've had, you know, a guy come out and work on it several times and it seriously, it'll get going and then it stops again. So do not get a Whirlpool refrigerator with the ice maker in the door. The kind that we have, it's not a good one. We have had tons of problems with it. So seems like whenever it rains, it pours, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, happy vacation. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for rescuing us with pizza. You're welcome. I'm sticking on them. Okay, they grabbed this at Sam's Club, and it said they said what a pizza? Breadsticks. Breadsticks. Six cookies. Oh, six cookies. And a two liter of Coke. And a two liter of Coke $13 for thirteen ninety nine. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, we are starving, so we are. Go what do you have? Bread and butter, pickled eggs. Ew. Ooh, yeah. Ew, do they stink? No. They're like bread and butter pickles. Ew, but they're, but they're eggs. eggs? Yeah, there's onions in there too. Okay. They are good. Try it. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah. 
All right, thanks for following us along this week, and we are out of here. We are going to eat and then start our you and I day vacation. Ah, so excited! Have a terrific, wonderful Monday, and have a safe Fourth of July. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh wow, that is really good.